Well, howdy folks. Charlie with Typewriter Justice here, and given that it's almost Halloween, I decided to do something that's a little bit appropriate. And no, this is not a big flat pumpkin made by Sears. It is, in fact, a typewriter. I know, who'd have thunk it? On this channel, what? A typewriter? Pah, perish the thought. But this is a... 1971, 1974, 72, 73, nobody knows. Sears Chevron. Chevron 2, if we're going to go by what the uh, typewriter database says. And why not? I'll agree with that. Um, there was an earlier version of the Chevron, and this ain't it. So I'm going to say Chevron 2. And wow, how orange can it be? Um, I hope the camera is getting this color because it might be coming out yellow. But that's really, that's a lighter orange. And this is, you know, this is like pumpkin guts and this is got like pumpkin skin. So it's, it's a two-tone orange kind of affair here. Um, and surprisingly enough, it's actually a really good diaper. Um, very snappy, very crisp. It's a little clattery, you know. She got plastic sides. This is plastic. That's metal. That's metal. Um, the bottom is metal as well. It's got this weird texture. Is that actually metal? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is. No, that's not. Wow. Okay. So, we've got a metal frame, metal chassis, and a metal lid. And that's, and I think that's it. This piece is metal, too. But, you know, it's the 70s. They were trying to do things different, I guess. And man, this one's different. You know, Sears, uh... Just like Monkey Wards and a couple others, Butler Brothers, way back in the day... They just rebranded typewriters. They never actually made their own typewriters, I don't think. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. I don't know who manufactured this one. I don't know what model it's supposed to be. I mean, the little sticker inside here says, you know, if you're going to contact your... You know, in all correspondence regarding this article, always mention model number 405.52911. That... It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. I'd rather call it a Chevron. You know, this one was made in Portugal. Still doesn't clue me in as to who made it or what model it is. I don't know. I don't know. Fun little machine, though. You know, you got a little uh, touch selector over here. You get one, two, or three dots. Um, you got your color selector over here. We got black. We got stencil. We got red. You got a built-in tabulator. Uh, there's no settings on it. It just goes 10, no matter what. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You know, it's uh, in theory similar to the Remington self-starter, but you know, the self-starter goes five and it goes five from wherever you are. This is different. It just goes to those set locations, you know. Um, it's not, uh, 10 from wherever you are. It's five, uh, it's, it's 10, you know, just up to the numbers ending in zero. When I got this thing, it was missing one of the margin stop covers here. And, uh, Pete Voles was kind enough to make those for me. He 3D printed them. I had one of them and I sent it to him and he got the specs figured it out with his weird computer magic and uh, mirrored it and made two. And so I'm using both of the ones that he sent me. Um, and they look fantastic on there too. They match really, really well. And that, that was the major thing that I had to do on this machine. Uh, well, I mean, you know, align the type. Um, I think I had a couple of, cro or, uh, couple of type bars that were a little out of whack. But uh, that's really about it, you know? Snazzy little machine. It was a little dirty, but cleaned up well. You know, this one's in better shape than most of them. 
which is why I couldn't resist. Because, man, most of the time, these, uh, these are just ridiculously nasty. All of them that I've seen. This one came out pretty snazzy. Got a little bit of scuffing back here from the case, but that's about it. Um, do a little type test with it. 1971 to 74 Sears Chevron 2 serial number 6112948 in stunning orange on orange. It's so much orange, I almost can't handle it. An orange, you jealous. Heart, heart, heart. On the black setting, the quick brown box jump. Over. Oh, did I hit over? Easy. Dog. It is surprisingly nice quality print on this thing. Uh, let's go up to the red setting here. The quick brown box jumps over. The easy dog. Zero complaints with that. Man, I like it. A little alignment test here. Tabulate my way over. And looky there. That thing is just a little Halloween miracle. Ain't you so pretty? There you go. 1970-something Sears Chevron 2 with its funky case. Look at this. They've got, they've got styrofoam pads inside the case. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, man. 1970s. What were they thinking what were they thinking? <sighs> Later.